Today, we're going to talk about the relationship between heavy metal toxicity and changes in your skin. And I want to focus on four main heavy metals. And really, it's the dose that determines the poison. We're all exposed to various toxins and definitely heavy metals in certain amounts. And if they're low enough, they won't affect our bodies. In fact, there's some really interesting information that you might find quite shocking. Certain experiments with animals have indicated that even a deficiency of some of these heavy metals can create problems in growth and reproduction. So apparently some of these heavy metals uh, act as essential trace minerals. Interesting. But let's just start with this thing called arsenic. Now, you're normally going to find arsenic uh, in pressurized wood, maybe in the water supply, maybe in an insecticide that ends up on your food. But too much arsenic can create either a hyper or hypo pigmentation. That means that your skin can start to look a little bit darker or lighter. I'm talking about little dark spots or little white spots. And primarily, you might see this on your torso, your, the mid part of your body. You may also notice a hard surface on the palms of your hand and the soles of your feet. This is called keratosis, and this is another indication that potentially it could be arsenic. Now, just because you have these symptoms does not mean you have this problem. You have to look at the whole picture, but I think it's important to understand the connection so maybe you can evaluate it deeper and see if there is a problem or not. The thing about arsenic is it depletes glutathione. And so there are certain things that you can take or make sure you have in your body in sufficient amounts to protect you against arsenic, and that would be selenium, okay? One Brazil nut will give you a good amount of selenium. Selenium is also naturally in seafood, but selenium is one, zinc is number two, folate, which is one of the B vitamins, and carotenoids, which is an antioxidant in a lot of vegetables. One remedy for arsenic is spirulina that can be protective against arsenic. Now, the next one I want to talk about is cadmium. Cadmium is in spray paints, tobacco, when you, if you smoke cigarettes, and it's also in shellfish. If someone is exposed to too much cadmium, they're going to notice a yellowing of the skin, and this is not jaundice, and sometimes uh, a tanning of your skin when you actually have no reason to be tanned. You're also susceptible to getting skin cancer if you have too much cadmium. There's some protection against cadmium, and that is making sure you have enough zinc in your body. Zinc is going to be a common thread uh, with all four of these heavy metals, and uh, the best uh, source of zinc would be red meat, uh, shellfish, beef liver. But any of the antioxidants will help, uh, and that's in a lot of uh, raw vegetables and sprouts and microgreens but also a remedy called NAC, which is a very powerful antioxidant. It's like a precursor to glutathione. Let's go to lead. Lead is in paint, or it used to be in paint. It can be in our water supply. It can be in our soils. But the distinct indication that you might have lead poisoning is a blue line on your gums, okay, in your mouth. It's called a lead line. Some of the things that can protect you against lead is uh, having enough calcium in the body, having enough iron in the body. A remedy called calcium EDTA, which is like a, a chelator that can help pull these heavy metals out, and alpha lipoic acid. This is obviously in your dental work. I had a lot of amalgam fillings. I had them all removed. But it's also in fish and thimerosal, which is in certain vaccines. Now, the next heavy metal would be mercury. But mercury poisoning can create a graying of the skin and a very interesting pink color on your palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. The seafood or fish that are lowest mercury include anchovies, catfish, clam, crab, crawfish, flounder, herring, oyster, sardines, scallops. Also, make sure that you have at least one Brazil nut every single day. That will give you enough selenium to counter mercury toxicity. So these are just very distinct uh, symptoms relating to heavy metal toxicity. Now, there's a lot of other symptoms too, but I think it's just good to be aware of these uh, four toxic metals. One thing that's really good for any type of toxicity, especially heavy metal toxicity, is to start drinking distilled water, okay? And then adding in the minerals that you want, 
but distilled water acts like a vacuum and it can help pull out these heavy metals. But remember, it, the poison is in the dose, so just because you're exposed to a little bit doesn't mean anything. Now, if you have not seen my video on distilled water, it's pretty interesting. I put it up right here, check it out.